Hey, welcome guys. My name is Omkar, and today we are going to see the error which I have shown you on the thumbnail. So basically, while starting the laptop or your system, uh, you will face this issue, and you may not be able to start your laptop. So first, we will see what's the error basically, and then we will proceed with the solution. Uh, it's taking longer than usual yeah it's starting now so this error basically comes for Ubuntu and my version of Ubuntu is 18.04 so I faced this issue and thought of the solution so I got it and first thing you need to know that if you are facing this issue and if you are thinking that you may lose your data you won't get it and so basically it will give you so much tension and you will think that you may have lost your data or you can't get it or maybe you will think that this is the only solution that we need to format our laptop so before that if you are having precious data on your laptop so what you need to do you can just get it first and then you can solve this issue so yeah so right now you can see I'm getting this kind of error on starting of my laptop so what we have to do first we will turn off the laptop again and again we will press power button to on it to continue press F1 okay so we will press F1 and then you have to press these two button first one is escape and second one is shift button so what you have to do you have to press these two button at a time so first we will press F1 and after that we will press escape and shift so you will get this menu the GNU grub version okay so in this grub version what you have there are basically four options first one is Ubuntu and second one is advanced option for Ubuntu so you can toggle that by using your up and down arrow keys and what we have to do we have to choose advanced option for Ubuntu so I am pressing enter and I came into this advanced option so what options do we have the first one is Ubuntu with Linux generic and Ubuntu with Linux generic recovery mode so we can go into the recovery mode just and press the arrow keys toggle in between them and select this recovery mode press enter so right now we are entering in the recovery mode and don't worry about it it's just uh, running all the services it happens sometimes so basically I face this issue while development and I was worried about my code that I haven't pushed it on the my repository and it was on just a local so I was worried about that and I thought I may have lost the data but it's not like that you can still access the system from the recovery mode so first we need to access the system from recovery mode and then we will solve this issue but before that we will take a backup of all our precious data and if you are developer and you are doing a coding so first uh, we just need to push our code on whatever the repository you are using GitLab, GitHub and after pushing that we can just solve this issue first we will need to wait for this recovery mode get started so basically right now it's working and starting all the services just a few seconds and we'll good to go a 
so right now the screen is stuck so we will press enter and here you get this pop up you are now going to exit the recovery mode and continue the boot sequence please note that some graphics driver require a full graphical boot and so will fail when resuming the recovery if that's the case simply reboot from the login screen and then perform a standard boot what do we need to do nothing just press uh, enter key and it's fine just wait for a while the system will get started yeah so now it's loading sorry for the light there is too much light reflection it's a noon so while doing that we have to be so much patient yeah so there is there it is yeah so we entered in our system so as you can see we have come into the system and right now we can access it okay so now just take whatever the data or uh, you want to take from your external resources like pen drive and all or uh, you are first if you are a developer then just push the code first and then uh, we will do then further steps yeah so once you take all your backups and push your code so then what we need to do to solve that issue is first check the internet connection that you have pretty good internet connection so i'm connected and then open the terminal yeah so write the command sudo apt hyphen get update sudo apt hyphen get update press enter yeah it's protected i'm entering the password and sit back and relax it's doing its work we need to wait for a while it's doing its work so it's done Mm-hmm. Then you have to enter the next command sudo apt hyphen gate upgrade. So this is the command sudo apt get upgrade. Press enter. press enter now again sit back relax it's doing its work our, our upgrade is going to get done going to complete almost 45% done Still 21 MB is remaining and some other packages so I'm just skipping this part so now you can see we are almost done with all the upgrade We 
going to digest the patient I almost skip the video for 12 to 15 seconds sorry minutes it took my at least 15 minutes to get all the upgrades as the internet is not that much strong over here So here we are, uh, we are done with the installation. So basically at initial level it was downloading all the upgrades and then it took some time to get the installation done. So right now we have run both the commands sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. So our work is done now and what we need to do is uh, Anna Baker. So we are done with that. So now turn off the PC. So it's going back from the recovery mode turning off yeah successfully turned off so again we'll press power on button to start the pc press f1 Hope for the best. Ubuntu. It's getting started. Hope for the best. I hope it gets started now. And yeah, there it is, bye guys. So yeah, we successfully recovered from that issue. So when I turn off the laptop and again turn it on, we didn't face any kind of issue over here. Okay, cool. So right now we get rid of that issue and our laptop is now perfectly fine so thanks for watching and make sure you hit the like button if this is helpful to you and let me know if any issues you are facing right now with your laptop after this process if you got any queries if you get any suggestions do comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe my channel Thank you guys.